After the GPT 5.2 launch, Google released their Gemini 3 Flash model, which is cheaper than Gemini 3 Pro, GPT 5.2, and Claude Sonnet 4.5. In the benchmarks, it gives tough competition to other models. It even beats their Pro model in some benchmarks, like the SWE and ARC AGI 2 benchmarks, where it scores higher than Gemini 3 Pro. But I do not believe in these benchmarks, and I know you also do not believe in these benchmark values. So, I am going to test Gemini 3 Flash on some really interesting and hard tests and compare it with Gemini 3 Pro, GPT 5.2, and Claude Sonnet 4.5. This is Pursuing AI, and you are watching the research report. The first test is an interactive hand simulation, and the requirements are simple. I should be able to control all the fingers of the hand, including the thumb. First, let's look at the Gemini 3 flash result. It generates a basic looking 2D hand. Below it, I get controllers to move all the fingers. Thumb, index, middle, ring, and pinky. All the fingers are working properly. It's simple, but it does what it's supposed to do. Next is the Gemini 3 Pro result. Here, the hands looks more realistic compared to Flash. Overall, it's clearly better. All the controllers are working as well, but there's a minor mistake. The thumb is not moving correctly, and the hand is shown from the back view instead of the front. However, if you focus on the movement of the other fingers, they move very realistically. Because of that realism, this result is still better than Flash. Now let's talk about the GPT 5.2 result. It also generates a 2D hand, and that can control all the fingers here as well. But the most interesting part is the movement. The finger motion is very smooth, and it actually feels real. It's clearly better than the Flash result, but still not better than the Pro result. And finally, here's the Claude Opus 4.5 result. Honestly, I want to laugh. The hand it generates looks like a pig with fingers placed on top of it. And when I click on any controller, whatever happens is just confusing. What is this, bro? It doesn't even beat the Flash model. I don't even want to say anything more here. So in this test, Gemini 3 Pro gives the best result. Next comes Gemini 3 Flash, which is also good. And Gemini 3 Flash performs better than Cloud Opus 4.5 in this case. And if you're a student, this next test becomes extremely important. This test is about generating an interactive simulation for a complex topic, something that actually helps students understand concepts visually. For this test, I'm using a very common but critical topic, how a nuclear reactor works. It's a four-step process. First, nuclear fission releases massive heat. Second, that heat boils water. Third, the steam rotates a turbine to generate electricity. And finally, after passing through the turbine, the steam is recycled so the process can repeat. Now, here is the Gemini 3 flash result. It generates a very basic view. It does not clearly show all four steps. Even though it mentions all four stages below, it feels like the steps heating, boiling, and steam release are merged together visually. The boiling and turbine stages are not shown properly. If someone does not already know how a nuclear reactor works, this simulation could easily confuse them. There is a rod insertion system to control neutron absorption and slow down the chain reaction. But overall, the visualization is not clear enough. Now, here is the Gemini 3 Pro result. This is better than Flash. It shows all four steps and also explains the process on the left side. The green blinking particles represent uranium fuel. The red shows heat flow. The blue represents the coolant, and the small yellow dots indicate electricity generation. All the steps are shown correctly, but still, it's not as good as I want for a beginner-friendly explanation. Now comes Claude Opus 4.5. This result is significantly better than both Gemini 3 Flash and Pro. This is exactly what I was looking for. When I click the play option, it shows the process step by step, clearly explaining how the turbine works. Below the simulation, it describes all the steps in very simple words. And in the final section, it even adds power facts, like how many homes one reactor can power, how one kilogram of uranium equals three million kilograms of coal, and how around 10% of the world's energy comes from nuclear power. If a student does not know the process beforehand, watching this alone would make them understand it completely. Now, here is the GPT 5.2 result. This one generates a very complex scene. The explanation is good, all the steps are correct, and it explains the process step by step. However, it does not feel beginner friendly. It's impressive and accurate, but clearly aimed at more advanced users. So in this test, the winner is Opus 4.5, followed by GPT 5.2. I really did not like the Gemini 3 Pro and Flash result here. Now let's move to the final test, the bird flocking game. The requirements are simple, but strict. A natural environment with trees and vegetation, 
two camera systems, a world view and the bird view, and birds that flock realistically around the environment, built using 3.js. Here is the Gemini 3 flash result. It generates a world with trees. I can increase or decrease the flock size, switch between world view and bird view, and even pause the flocking. The bird movement looks natural and realistic. However, there are issues. Some birds go down inside the ground, and the bird view camera is too shaky. Now, this is the Gemini 3 Pro result. It generates a world with multicolored birds, but the birds do not look natural. Their flocking behavior feels off, and you'll clearly understand this when you see the bird view camera. The camera itself does not shake, but the flocking behavior is not convincing. In this case, Flash is clearly better than Pro. Now here's the Opus 4.5 result. The environment looks better than the other models, but the birds look very bulky and unnatural. Their flocking behavior is poor, even worse than Gemini 3 Pro. And finally, here is the GPT 5.2 result. It also fails this test. The birds are not properly structured, and the flocking behavior is not realistic. So, in this test, the clear winner is Gemini 3 Flash. No other model handles this test correctly. So, if we look at all the test results, Gemini 3 Pro wins the first test with the hand simulation. Opus 4.5 wins the second test with the most beginner-friendly interactive simulation, and Gemini 3 Flash wins the final test with the best bird flocking behavior. This is Pursuing AI, and you just watched the research report. If you like this, like, subscribe, comment, and share.